so here is another uh, class for you and in this class students i am going to explain the another problem based on the concept of simulative triangles and in this questions here it is given that and here in the triangle abc look at carefully de parallel to bc given okay in the triangle abc de parallel to bc in the triangle abc got here abc is a triangle and de parallel to bc again dc join and dc parallel to ap dc parallel to ap okay this is given and you have to prove that ad square is equal to ab into af ab into af okay ab square here ad square is equal to ab into ab into af okay understand so let's uh, let's write this question what is given in this question clearly it is understood same thing i am writing here de parallel to bc in the triangle abc bc parallel be parallel to bc given and another given what if e parallel to if e parallel to dc yes or no and to prove to prove that a d square is equal to ab into f ab into f okay ab into f right let's prove understand now let's see students Uh, it is clearly understood. ABC is a triangle. In triangle ABC, DE parallel to BC. It is given that. Okay, write down in triangle ABC, DE parallel to BC, DE parallel to BC, DE parallel to BC. Okay, understand? So since DE parallel to BC, we can use AB upon AD. Am I right? AB upon AD. Are you looking here? Yeah, this is AB and this is AD. AB upon AD. Similarly, AC upon AE. This is the corollary of the basic proportional theorem. AB upon AD is equal to AC upon AE. It's okay. This is the corollary. Corollary of BPD. Okay. This is the point one we are getting. It's clear. Okay. Similarly, another triangle you see in the triangle ABC. Here, see ABC is a triangle, and in this triangle, ABC triangle you see the AP parallel to DC is also given. Okay. Again, again in triangle, in triangle ABC. Okay. And what is given? F E parallel to D C, right? Okay. And similarly, can you use A D upon A F? A D upon A F. Are you looking here? What is A D? Here A D upon A F. Can we tell what? A C upon A E. Yes or no? Yes. Right? A D upon A F is equal to A C upon A E. Yes, it upon A, and this is also the corollary of the basic proportional theorem. This is point number two, right? Okay. Are you looking the point one and point two? Are you getting now? A B upon A D is equal to A C upon A. Is it clear? Again, you see A D upon A F is equal to A C upon A E, right? So now, from the equation one and two, we are getting now AB upon AD is equal to AC upon AE. Yes or no? From the point, from the equation one, and AD upon A AD upon AC upon AE is also equal to AD upon A in the equation two. Okay. AD upon A is equal to AC upon A, and AC upon A can be written AD upon A. Okay, so AB upon AD is equal to AC upon A is equal to AD upon A. So that implies, so AB upon AD is equal to understand you can write AD upon A, right? Okay, understand? 
is it clear now you can transpose ad and ad is what ad square and you can multiply ab into a right so we can you see now that implies ad multiplied ad ad square is equal to ab ab into a is it clear okay so this is the what we are going to prove okay and this is very also another simple problem and also and you are using here how you can use the bpt theorem and corollary of the bpt theorem in solving and in while we are proving the various different kind of geometrical geometrical statement okay and deductive problem we can prove and this also problem used to come in the various different kind of exam also and also we will try okay this okay and also we will try the similar kind of problem thank you okay see you next bye